Okay, so today I'm going to be maintaining the FT racer. I've made a few modifications myself, but I won't go over any of that. Um, although one I will go over is I have this set up as an EDF. Okay. Um, the motor that I have isn't strong enough to handle the props. I brought them anyway because I might decide to switch it out, put the other mount on it. I don't know yet. But uh, as it stands now, I'm going to be flying it as a DDF because I want it to fly as a slow flyer. So pushing from the back gives a lot of headwind, a lot of head weight, which uh, makes it float up, keeps it from going too fast instead of uh, disproportionating the air across the body itself, which gives it more speed, gives it that penetration. But uh, another thing that I started to do is I created my flight box. I have my flight box, I have my spare batteries, extra ESC, my servo connectors, uh, all my spare props, spare connectors, my controller sits right in here, uh, servo extensions, everything that I need uh, between switching out my models. I only have one model out here today, but this gives me the ability to swap my models out if I want to uh, say I brought my stealth model or I didn't even fly the prop plane I got tired of and I wanted to switch between them. All I have all my electronics and everything to just swap them out. Now what I'm flying with today on this is uh, a 1300 3S we saw WIPO. It's a 20C. Normally I use a 2100 because that's what uh, my motor and my ESC are rated for. But I have a 40 amp ESC on there now, which uh, gives me more push at lower amperage for my battery. It's uh, not always the best way to go. But I do have my power pod in here. And I'm going to go ahead and hook this up. And you'll notice. This is my 1300, and uh, I normally fly with this, which is my 2100. You'll see it's a really big difference in size. This is literally half the weight, which uh, is the main portion. The main thing that gives me my ability to use this plane as a slow flyer. Less weight means uh, less power necessary to move it, which gives me the ability to cruise. There's uh, quite a bit of a headwind today, so I'm kind of worried about, but uh, hopefully we'll be able to get somewhere and it's got enough of a penetration to move through the air. So uh, let's get to it. <laughs> I should have waited for a less windy day instead of destroying the plane. Uh, it's not even mine, I made it for my fiance. But uh, I did make an injectable battery, which it did in fact inject, eject. It uh, broke my power pod though, so that's all gonna have to come out. See, I can't even hold the plane. And the wind force was so strong that it actually snapped. My stab off, it snapped my 
my tail fin. And uh, it's actually blowing me around, blowing me around. So I got a really bad gust that knocked it down and officially snapped the tail fin. I thought it would be okay to fly with, but uh, it didn't. It did not take to it very well. Uh, I gotta find a, my flaps. Got busted up. It's never great. So I'm actually gonna have I'm gonna take all the taper off right here and tape the hinge onto it because uh, the flaps on these plans, although it's a great idea, the way you cut through it, it, uh, it eventually just it tears up and the paper separates from the foam and then you lose your hinge and you lose your control. Um, shoot, that just sucks. So I'm gonna have to take it. It flies great. It really does. But uh, not in the wind. Not, not, not in this way. Yeah. So, uh, successful first flight. The GoPro on it at first was way too heavy. And um, I'm just speaking up now because it's getting, wow, it is getting ridiculously windy out here. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and take it home. And hopefully we'll learn from this and I'll put another video up after this. And this is going on because we got to show our failures. Can't be right all the time. Anyway, um, that's it. Thanks for watching. And uh, sorry about the uh, smash that flyer.